Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome. Today I'm talking to you guys from San Francisco. We're really excited. We're at the Hyatt Regency, Regency Hotel uh, by the airport and we can't wait to go to Monterey and do some crazy shots there. So, um, today what I want to talk to you guys about is why Amazon landscape is changing and why it is not the same for new sellers. Ever wonder why your product is not working and uh, you're trying everything you can from every angle. You're doing your PPC, you're doing um, your advertising, you're doing your listing perfectly, but it is not working. Something is wrong. It's because the Amazon landscape is changing. Now, I know that there are a lot of gurus uh, online, on YouTube, on other platforms, trying to teach you some of the old ways that have worked for the longest time actually and has made people a lot of money. It has made a lot of six-figure sellers and seven-figure sellers. Can you guys believe it? There are 200,000 six-figure sellers on Amazon today and that is just an absolutely crazy number to think about. How did these guys come about that much money? How did they replace their 9 to 5 job with a career in Amazon? So that's what I'm here to talk to you guys about that there are slight changes and you have to be um, you have to be accepting of the times that we live in. Now, as you know that Amazon is a very large growing business and if you think Amazon is a mammoth right now right it is gonna get even bigger if you follow the innovation um, the technology that they invest in and everything it is gonna absolutely open up a new market like they are getting into everything even real estate just imagine how crazy that is buying homes on Amazon right so that's the kind of innovation I'm talking about that it is a perfect place to make money first of all now let's talk about the changes like a lot of people show you guys that product research and everything the old school way they're showing you to go on jungle scout and even some of it i do but there is a way to actually find out if your product will stay sustainably profitable um over the long run right as you guys know amazon any product that you get into you will be lucky if you make money for a full year from that product that's why we never put our eggs in one basket because one product will die down it hits its peak and then it's just gonna go down guys so that's why we try to bring as many products on board launch as many products so we can be profitable in the long run and that's called scaling your business right so what has changed about Amazon why did people make money before and why can't they make money right now the problem is that the landscape is changing these gurus that are teaching you uh, that you're buying courses off and what's happening is that they're teaching a whole bunch of other people the same concepts right so um, take Kevin David for example right he's teaching um, millions of people about the way Amazon works and what uh, what tricks uh, that he has implemented that has worked for him to use and if you're all launching your product the same way what's gonna happen the market is gonna get saturated there are tons of sellers today I can show you guys how profitable a product is I can show you guys how great it is based on the number of reviews based on the number of daily sales it does and um, everything about it and how, how marketable it is in any kind of market but what's gonna happen is that by the time you get your product shipped by the time it's manufactured and comes into an Amazon FBA warehouse there are tons of other sellers that are getting in the same game with the same product now think about that if you've done your research and you've only seen let's say 10 competitors that you'll be competing in do another search right now and I guarantee you guys there are 30 sellers in the same market so how do we get around that like it's one of the hardest things to do is to actually find products right that are profitable that will stay profitable by the time your product gets here and by the time you start selling so one of the ways that I do this is to get away from niche products right I do not try to get into niche products what happens is a lot of people they start with a lot of products as they should and then they really narrow down just like a funnel and find that one profitable product and they get into a really really niche product I know it sounds a little glamorous you know you're selling let's say whatever it is let's say if it's a um, dual use flashlight or whatever it is right something really crazy like the, the technology uh, that I've shown you guys before the flashlight glove that I've shown you guys before right it's an absolutely great product but what happens is when it's too niche and people are getting into it the just it loses its marketability it loses its demand and um, there's so much competition out there and you are not gonna be able to make it as a new seller 
if there are tons of other sellers launching their product a few weeks before you, a week before you, right? Because that's just the way the game works. So, how do we do this? What we do is always keep our search broad. So the way we get around this is to keep our search broad. We are not going to get into any niches. We are going to search for products that will stay marketable year round, first of all, right? That is in demand and has been in demand, right? Check historical data. When I'm showing you guys to do Jungle Scout search, uh, the uh, Chrome extension that I show you guys how to use, which is a great product. By the way, it's a 20% off coupon down in the description. So if you get a chance, check it out. Search for products not only on page one, page two, page three, page four. Figure out how many competitors are actually in that market and how many competitors have been in the game in the past three months, six months to a year, right? That's how you'll do proper research because when you look at historical data, you see how many sellers are actually getting in the game, getting in the same category as you are, right? Um, over a three month period, over a six month period, and over a few weeks because that will tell you that when your product is ready, when your product, when your manufacturer gets your product ready and they're trying to ship it am to an Amazon FBA warehouse, and then again, the month that it takes if you're bringing Ocean uh, for your shipping to arrive to a United States or Canadian warehouse, how the game is gonna change. The rate that that product has seen uh, sellers build up in the same category, right? That's the rate you gotta account for. That's your projection. So if 10 sellers got in the game in the past three months, you're gonna have another 10 sellers getting in the game uh, in the next three months. That's how we get around things. And whenever I sell products, I try not to get into too much niche. Like, I tr it's, just, it's just a very, very uh, disastrous way of playing the game. It's, it, can, it can get really saturated really fast. People lose interest in the product. Just like, think about a fidget spinners, right? A great product. It had its time. It had like maybe sold great for a year even, um, but then it died down. It it just it's just not a good niche to get into because a lot of people got into it, right? The demand uh, decreased. The supply increased. It's just a supply and demand concept, guys. The more supply you have, the demand kind of decreases. So it's just the way it is. And then when the supply is low, the demand increases. So that's where you gotta get into. You gotta get into products that have a low supply, right? They, they can, again, supply as your competitors that are supplying these products. And the best ones are when you have one or two competitors, right? One or two main competitors. Of course, you are gonna have more, but when you have one or two main competitors and then you get into that product, and it doesn't, it, it doesn't have to be a niche product, right? It can be a generic product. One thing that, I try to do to get around it again the second concept that I'm going to talk to you guys about is something called differentiating your product that goes along with bundling or reinventing your product so what do I mean by that why is it so important for us to reinvent now let me be clear that we're not reinventing the wheel all we're doing is finding another use for our product right that we can potentially launch as a brand new product right so one of the greatest examples of this is Lexus, right? They wanted to get into an SUV market. There was a lot of competition, right? So what did they do? They created the something called a crossover. They are the ones who actually invented that genre or that class of vehicles, right? They said, you know what? We're not gonna compete. We're gonna take an SUV. We're gonna combine it with a sedan and then we're gonna call it crossover, right? it just blew everybody's mind away like who would have thought that if you decrease the height of a car a little bit make it a little bit more sedan like a little bit more on the ground that people would go crazy and nuts for it so that's what it is guys you gotta take a product that you have that you know is great right something relatable that you can actually combine with it and make it better that's always the key guys make it better and then you have a brand new product and that's how we differentiate ourselves and that's how you're gonna beat your competition every single time and you're gonna have amazing sales guys I'm telling you if you do this if you try to think about your product a bit longer figure out ways and don't just start with like don't just start with a, um, a product that you have in mind right do your research 
figure out what products are selling the most in the same category. I usually, the way to do this is find the two best products that are selling in a category and say, see if they um, can merge together. And when you merge them together, what other product can be created out of it and uses and of course like you have to think about like how the demand will work for this product will there be demand for this new product so that's it guys that's what I wanted to share with you guys that there are so many ways to make money on Amazon today even though they're saturated even though there are so many product levels that are saturated that you may not see the profits so product research is king guys like do your product research properly make sure you're do your due diligence. Do, make sure you do your due diligence, guys, because that's gonna really dictate your market and your business. And if your product, if you launch your first product properly, you're gonna have an amazing success with Amazon FBA. Thanks again, guys. I thank you guys for your viewership, your subscription. If you are new to this channel, make sure you give this video a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe, and hit the bell button so you can get notification on the next video. Thank you. Bye.